Hello, welcome to the latest breaking news. In this video, you will see important news on use of trending and breaking. Please like this video, subscribe this channel. From street vendor to UFC fighter, the unlikely success story of Mexico's Ronaldo Lazy Boyd Rodriguez. In many ways, Ronaldo Rodriguez already won. Rodriguez, better known as Lazy Boy, was not supposed to make it this far, as the odds were heavily stacked against him. Yet here he is, hours away from opening up the UFC 306 pay-per-view main card this Saturday at Sphere in Las Vegas in what will be his second fight with the promotion. Rodriguez has taken a good chunk of the spotlight this fight week. He stole the show at Thursday's Naka UFC press conference with his heated back and forth with Ode Osborne and is heading into the event as one of the most beloved, followed, and hyped Mexican fighters on the card. Although it may seem like things are just getting started for the 25-year-old prospect, Rodriguez has already been through a ton to get to this stage. Rodriguez was born in Chiapas, one of the poorest states in Mexico with a staggering poverty rate of 74.7%, according to a 2012 study from the National Institute of Statistics and Geography. In Chiapas, Rodriguez lived in a tiny town which, according to a 2010 census, had a population of less than 500. We're from a municipality called Jiquipilas and a town called Nueva Independencia. That's where I grew up, Rodriguez told MMA Junkie in Spanish. There are no roads, there is no internet, there's hardly any electricity. People move around in horses, but there are some cars. There is one road and a park that's all pavement. It's a very poor neighborhood. I think having grown up there and seeing all the hardships we had to go through and all the times we were hungry or didn't have clothes or shoes to wear, it was those experiences that forged the man you see today. The man who's working to better himself and build a legacy. A single mother raised Rodriguez. His grandparents were farm workers who cultivated corn and pumpkin. It was clear early on that he had no future in Chiapas, which is why it was his home for only seven years. Chiapas has the highest index of poverty in Mexico, Rodriguez said. My mother gave me the opportunity to leave the town. She was both a mother and a father to me. She took the risk to step out her comfort zone and leave the town so she could give a better life to her son. Looking for a better future, Rodriguez and his mom moved to a bigger city in Veracruz, about a four-hour drive from their home in Chiapas. He was about seven years old when they made the change, and there Rodriguez's mother began working as a housekeeper to support their living. Soon after moving to Veracruz, Rodriguez realized he had a lot of responsibility on his shoulders, perhaps more than the average kid. About eight years old, I realized that no one was going to figure out my life for me, Rodriguez said. I knew that a stepfather wasn't going to come in and buy me everything I wanted, that I wasn't going to win the lottery, that no one was going to do something for me. I knew I only had my mother and my mother only had me. No one was going to figure out our lives. I knew the only one that could make a change was me. Rodriguez spent the majority of his childhood and teenage years in Veracruz. There, he realized that studying wasn't his thing, but fighting was. Since I was a kid, I loved fighting, Rodriguez said. In high school, I got kicked out twice for fighting. I ended up in the most problematic high school in Coatzacoalcos, Veracruz. It was there where all the kids that other schools didn't want would end up. But it was something that I needed to live through. I always liked fighting. Rodriguez was a big Julio Cesar Chavez fan and wanted to pursue a career in boxing. Unfortunately, for the world of the sweet science, there was only an MMA gym available to him, so he began training there at the age of 14. Four months into my training, I had my first amateur fight, Rodriguez recalled. The amateur kind of Mexico is pretty much professional, but they don't have to pay you, so that's why they call it amateur. I had about 22 of those fights, and from there I had my professional debut. Like Chiapas, Veracruz soon began to feel like a small town for a hungry and talented Rodriguez, looking to take his professional MMA career seriously. There wasn't much else for him to do MMA-wise. So at 17, he decided to go to the nation's capital, Mexico City, where there was a bigger, more robust MMA scene. 